So I have one more project. This one is a Marineer, it's 20 horsepower. I just bought it, it, took it out of my car and placed it on the stand here. So uh, the painting is a little rough. It's a very, very old one. Let's see here. The propel, how does that look? Not that bad, it's actually good shape. Nothing there. What about the other side of the engine? The painting is also rough, but it doesn't see it seems to be in a bad shape. It does not have a handle, so it's uh, but I have a control box with it, and that seems to be working, so that's great. And I have been told that this engine will start up and it will run as it should. So let's just check it under the hood. Just to see how that is. Hmm, the carburetor looks actually pretty good. I think that's has been cleaned. And if you see here, uh, there are paint falling off here. It could be because it has been too hot for some time. Uh, there's a lot of dirt down there and also a piece of something. I don't know what that is. It looks a little rough, but it's not that bad. I've been told that it will start, so I'll just uh, throw it in my barrel and start it up right away. So I just hooked it up with some gasoline. Did nothing to it. So I hope that it is correct that it should start up. And let's see here. I think I need to do something with the gear because it's uh, loose. Okay, let's try again. Just put a clamp on the gear so it will not uh, go down when I try to pull this one. Uh, we'll see if it st will start without choke. Oh, it's oh my god, it's heavy. Oh. I'll just choke it. Oh. Damn it, it's heavy. I feel that I'm not pulling hard enough um, because I need to hold the engine when I'm doing it and it's really rough to pull, really rough. So I hooked it up on my big stand and I will hope that I can start it now. Oh my god! Slack on the uh, on the neutral position. Okay, I couldn't get it started again, but that's okay. I will just show you something because when I pumped it, I could see a lot of dirt inside. I don't know if. Oh, sorry. When I pumped the ball, I could see a lot of dirt in here. Now it's hard. You can see it. 
So if that is dirty, I will clean it. I will also clean the carburetor because then I don't have issue there. As you can see here, it's actually pretty clean, but look at the gunk there. That needs to be cleaned. Now the carburetor is cleaned up and ready for uh, get back on the engine. There's not much to it, just give it a clean up. Use some wire to clean up the small uh, holes and give it some uh, carburetor clean and some compressed air and then you're good to go again. So this uh, come up pretty nice and easy. It was not dirty, so uh, I just checked for sparks on both cylinders and that was okay. Also check the compression. This is the first run on the top cylinder and the bottom one is also okay not that high but okay hello and today's beer is a san miguel because i am in spain so the carburetor is clean now and i will have hooked up fuel again a lot of it and everything is good i have this one down also so it will not start a gear again so let's hope for the best I will definitely choke it Now it needs a cleaner. So here it is. Nice and clean. Let's have a look inside. I just cleaned it up a little bit. So you can see it's not that dirty anymore. And also if you come down here, it was very dirty down here. But that also cleaned up now. And everything is cleaned up here and here it looks almost like a brand new engine oh the thing down here if you look here this is pretty loose and if I go down here and I turn it this way here so now it's actually stuck so it's a cool little thing but I think the uh, rubber down here down here it's a little bit old, but maybe okay. So, now I'm just uh, want to get this into the water and test it, but hmm, I have one little problem. There is no tiller handle on this one. So, uh, I will see if I can find one cheap, or maybe I will build something, but I have a little problem with the gear and the gas, so. What to do? Mm, let's figure out.